Hello beautifuls, this is Avrami here, and welcome back to Butterfly Soup. I'm trying to find my sticky note. I always have a sticky note by me to write down, like, episode number I'm currently on, and the title that I want to name it, even though sometimes I don't even follow my own sticky note, which is kind of dumb. But anyway, we are back with Butterfly Soup, and we are now on, um, our Karsha's route. Scally, she jerks the offending appendage back down. And like her hand had gone and betrayed the rest of her body. What? Nothing. Hey guys, we have a few announcements to make. I kind of was like confused because this is a brand new recording day. And I was like, what? Where did I stop at? Because I kind of left off in a weird place. First of all, Minsul. You need to resubmit your par parental permission form for the club. And this time, please have a real parental guardian sign it. I don't know what you're talking about. He forged it? How can you tell? The signature was just the word mom in cursive. Fuck. Men is running away. Crystal gets up and chases after her. There's nowhere to run, you dumb kid. It sounds an awful lot like men ran into the door again. Everyone else's form looks fine though. So, good job guys. If you forged it too, I couldn't tell. Whew. Krissa has returned dragging a defeated men behind her. Next up, we're playing against an actual team today. What? Who? We invited the team's team at Niles over. They should be here soon. Sakura. <laughs> Are we going to be okay? Our team is made up of four baseball players, two nerds, and three weebs. Wait, there's three weebs? Who are three weebs? Wait, did you count me as a nerd? I'm a hybrid. I'm a weeb too. Yeah, guys, we'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, maybe was too honest. Don't worry, it's seriously super casual. They aren't bringing their coaches or anything, it's just nine of them driving over in their cars. Just relax and have fun. This isn't really important, but they have a cool mascot. It's Killer Whales. What's our team name? Do we get a mascot too? Read your damn shirt, it's Monarchs. That's so bland. But we're not really an official school team, so we can make a name up ourselves. Oh! Any suggestions? Bagels! The way you think is so damn cute. She is really tall. And muscular. Are her arms hairy? I never noticed that. Oh, she's so tall and bulky. I didn't... Chicken nuggets. Bagels is so simple. I kind of like it. Yeah, I don't want this to be okay if it ended up like that. I wouldn't. We're naming ourselves after food. Even though, like, you know, I ranted about naming my Pokemon after food. Any other suggestions? We should be something stronger than killer whales to assert our dominance. Monarchs are already more powerful than killer whales though. Humans keep killer whales in captivity. But if it was like one versus one, one v one, a killer whale would tear a guy to shreds. We should be something bigger and more dangerous. Like what, global warming? Oh my god, that's actually a hilarious <laughs> name. No matter who you're we're up against, they'll pretty much just automatically lose. Like tigers versus global warming, who do you think's gonna win? Our motto can be underestimate us and the world will be destroyed. That's not a very positive motto. Motto. I'm still kind of impressed Noel came up with that. What kind of name do you think I'd come up with? I don't know. Something nerdy that you thought sounded cool but was actually really cringy? Like the algorithms. Yuck! I feel like throwing up. Shut up! I never suggested that. And I don't like the global warming. It's not threatening enough. How is it not threatening enough? It's irre irreversible and will devastate generations to come. But it's not a thing. Like a real thing. Uh, Minsu, have you- hello? Are you saying you don't believe in global warming? She means it's like an abstract concept. Yeah. We should be something that sounds like it could rip our enemies from limb to limb. Like Death Machine. Are we forming a heavy metal band? I was just gonna say that. Death Bagels. That's better, I think. Death Bagels is dramatically cuter, but Min is too pleased that Dia combined their suggestions to complain. Wait, I just thought of a name too. Seems. No! What, what is that? And Yaoi, the seam is a dominant guy in the couple. Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know these terms. What is Yaoi? 
You don't want to know. Usually only teen girls who like anime know what it means, so maybe that's good. Most normal people will be totally oblivious. I know what Yaoi is. I don't know what Sim. Am I even saying that right? Simi? Simi? <laughs> yeah, the only reason Noelle knows is because I corrupted her. Let me reiterate that this is a bad idea. We're going to have to make up, fake, make up a fake definition when our parents ask what it means. Worth. How's that worth it? Okay, we'll settle this the fair way, which is a vote. Everyone, write your vote down on a piece of paper. Rakasha votes for... I don't know, man. I kind of like uh, global warming. Bagels and chicken nuggets I don't care for because I don't want my my tradition of naming Pokemon after food to follow along in this route. <laughs> this game. Global warming. Rissa tallies up all the votes. The winner is global warming. Nice. I guess the one downside is we only sound threatening to people who believe in it. That's fine. Even if they're too ignorant to accept scientific fact, that doesn't erase the reality that we'll an annihilate them. Big words for someone who couldn't catch a ball if it had Elmer's glue on it. You shut up. Alright guys, be nice. We're all a team here. Can't, can't be doing that. <laughs> the global warming head out to the field. <laughs> the other team is on their way. They're parking right now. Let's stretch and warm up first. They're arranging, they arrange in a huge circle and begin stretching like usual. What do you mean, like usual? Isn't this our second day of meeting up or no? Focus on your breathing and calm your mind. Okay. Suddenly, Noelle whirls around looking frantic. Noelle, get with the program. Be a Zen master. Where's Dia? Huh? She didn't follow us out? Indeed, Dia is nowhere in sight. Holy shit, she's so quiet I didn't even notice she was gone. Minsoul is missing too. Oh my god, they're doing it. That's impossible. Min told me she was going to the bathroom on the way out. What does it... What does Arkarsha mean they're doing it? Like... Like, you know, the winky winky way? Or, like... Skipping? <laughs> but that was like 15 minutes ago. She should be back by now. Maybe they got left behind in the locker room. Ugh! What? Nothing, I was just randomly screaming. Looks like the young men aren't here. The girls' bathroom is empty. We should split up and search for them. No, I've watched enough TV to know where this is going. We'll get picked off one by one. What is this, a horror movie? The killer whales will be here any minute. We don't have time to comb the school slowly together. Besides, we already lost the main problem, ch children. The rest of them aren't the type to just randomly wander off like this. That's true. Fine, disperse global warming. Meet back at the field in 10 minutes, whether you find them or not. Roger that. Noelle is holding the door open for people as they exit the locker room. She smiles as the car she comes closer. I can't stand here all day. You're cut off. Noelle lets the door close in our car she's face. Oh my god? What? Noelle is waiting for our car outside. Meaning, where should we look? I don't know. If it was just Dia, I'd have to guess... But it's likely Min still forced her to go somewhere. You realize Dia is like a foot taller and 100 pounds heavier than Min, right? I can't force Dia to do anything. If she took her somewhere, it's because Dia let her. Fine, force was too strong of a word. Coerced. Dude, chill. You're so neurotic when it comes to Dia. Can you just trust her judgment? In kindergarten, asked Dia what she wanted to be when she grew up. She answered a police dog. Well, it was kindergarten. Even in kindergarten, I understood that becoming another species wasn't an option. That's funny. Search the locker room. Search the courtyard. Search the bathroom. Arkasha looks inside the girls' bathroom just as Crystal said. It's empty. Darn. I thought men might have be, might be having a diarrhea cat catastrophe or something. Are you trying to make me throw up? Yeah, it's my hobby. You know, sometimes I wonder why I bother with you. Because you love me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. This is stupid. Knock it off. You didn't deny it that time. Confirmed. Not confirmed. That's not how it works. Or does it? Let's go to the locker room, I guess. Even though we were just legit here. Wait, what? Oops, sorry. Field? Track? Hey, that's... 
He is sprinting around the track at top speed. Oh wow, I didn't even have to go through the whole freaking school. Yo, Dia! Can you hear us from here? When Sia runs a bend, Noel and Arkasha flag her down. She's completely drenched in sweat. What are you doing? I got nervous, so I ran three miles. Feel better now. Uh, okay. Why didn't you say anything? He looks at her th as though she's crazy. Restful. I don't like to bother people. Dude, you know that not communicating just makes most situations even more stressful? Right? Where's Min? What do you mean? Huh? I guess you went missing separately. Never mind, just go back to the diamond then. That way, Chris and Liz know will know where you are. He and nods and trots off. Well, I guess we're... Not completely done. She's probably... She's not gonna be in the library. For the poster. The poster says reduce stress. How exactly do they expect us to do that? Not go to school? Get rid of our parents? Oh my god, I don't believe it! What? This is... This is a bush! I never would have guessed! Go to the class. Arkasha admires her own reflection in the window. I hate myself, but in a fun way where I'll still check myself out. It's dead quiet in here. If I farted, you could hear it from a mile away. Please don't. Romero, what is that? Arkasha's shrieking echoes in that empty hall for several seconds. Wow, the acoustics in here are real great. Or, or, sorry, are great, not real great. I realize there's nothing I can do to prevent you from doing this, so I will wait outside and pretend not to know you. Well, at least auditorium. Is, this, is that Sasuke? <laughs> Why are you yelling Sasuke? Eatboxing, stressed out. Stop asking about college. Stop asking about majors of my career. Stop asking about my future. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I'm not good at anything. I'm a fraud. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not that smart. I'm so afraid of failure that everything I do has to be funny. Because if I'm not serious, it's not like I was really trying. I'm so unhappy. Good thing I disguise it as a series of jokes so no one notices the gaping cat. Ch ch cat what? Chasm? Chasm? What the heck is that? Of darkness I live on the edge of. I wanna die! Kill me! What are you doing? Oh... I didn't expect you here, bro. Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to be going to the bathroom? I was. There's a family bathroom over there. He points to a door at the far end of the auditorium. Okay. Anyone can use it. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or girl. Oh, men probably doesn't feel comfortable going to the girls' bathroom. Right. Right. Men looks relieved that Arkasha let the topic drop. Are you serious about that dying stuff? Nah, man. I never actually try to... Hello, Siri? I didn't ask for you. I never actually try to off myself. I like my sticky note. Got my sticky note. It's more like if I was crossing the street and a car came barreling towards me, I'm not sure if I'd get out of the way. Then I'll hit the car out of the way. You'll hit it? What? Are you one punch man now? With my own car, I'll ram it into the one driving towards you. Your car will get crushed. No, well, my car will be stronger. You think I'm gonna own some weak, shrimpy-ass car? That other car is as good as dead. Are you serious? She's dead as <laughs> She dead oh, God, Siri keeps thinking I'm asking for her. She dead as try to save me by crashing into another car. Then looks really that she made her car just laugh. She's holding an emo Lincoln Park skateboard under one arm. Want to learn how to skateboard? Those aren't allowed at school, you know. Those are made to be broken. Are you a square or a triangle? I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes. Then places her skateboard on the floor. Here, I'll show you something cool. Hold on to me. <laughs> what the heck? I got you. But don't make this weird. Don't make this weird. Weird shriek. <laughs> What did I just say, you, you useless hoe? <laughs> what the heck? Can you guys hear the music? 
Okay. <laughs> Man manages to stand skateboard with our car shot on her shoulders. We're soaring! Flying! <laughs> Something, something, breaking free. Oh my god, guys. Tyler and I watched High School Musical a couple weeks ago. I haven't watched High School Musical. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's okay. Let's just keep repeating that one line. We're soaring. Fly. Oh my god. I love it. High School Musical was lit, the first one. I watched the second one. It was meh. And I didn't watch the third one yet. Feel better now? Yeah, I'm fine. I needed that. Akasha's eyes are filling up with tears. Time to make a joke. You know what the economy needs? Three dollar bills. I should put my face on it. Min rubs her in the arm. Rubs her in the arm. You suck. Mean. Akasha rubs her back. Hey! Oops, that was a bit harder than I expected. Min hits her back harder. Akasha retaliates by spitting her on her own knuckles. My punches inflict poison damage now. It turned into a fist fight. Hearing signs of, signs of violence, Noel has to run back into the auditorium. Krissa, look what they're doing! Men, come back to the field with me. Krissa drags Men off, leaving Akasha and Noel behind. We found both of them. Yes. Once again, I'm a hero. You're not a hero. Let's head back to the field too. Noel just like heard all that stuff and didn't say anything. Akasha goes into the family bathroom. Unlike the regular ones, there's only one stall. It's so clean. Where's the pee in the toilet seat? Where's the poo and blood stains like the <laughs> like in the girls' bathroom? It must be this pristine because no one else knows about it. This is heaven. No wonder men use it. Bad memories looking at this now. I was an idiot. If you're waiting for me to disagree, we're going to be here all day. Fine. Fine. I want to go here. Well, it looks incre incredibly amused. Why the library? You think Min is going to read a book? Doesn't hurt to be thorough, right? Akasha squeaks the door open. Book scanner alarm goes off. Everyone in the library turns to look at her. Oh shit! Akasha panics and bolts back out the door. Oh, good thing no one chased after us. What even just happened? I don't know. How odd. I don't even have any books in my backpack. Why did it go off? Oh my god, I forgot. Maybe it was a fluke. You should try again. No thanks. I totally forgot about that. Wait, how do I go to the field, bro? Oh, hey. There it is. <laughs> Finally, everyone's here. And no one fell victim to a serial killer. What a relief. Global warming, assemble. The other team is warming up on the field. Two of them break from the rest of the group and rush up to Dia. Dia rears back in field and hides behind Noelle for a moment before she appears to recognize them. Oh, it's pretty boy! The dragon guy! <laughs> Dia, it's us! <gasps> Wait. Wait, do I get to see... Do I get to see Jun? Dia high-fives him with a brutally excessive amount of force. Their palms meet with a deafening clap. Deafening, sorry. The victim swears and flaps the affected hand as if to shake off the stinging. He is so cute! He's trying valiantly to smile, but there are tears of pain in his eyes. Oh, look! We made our team accept the match when we heard you were here. You look different from men now. Can't believe that he's tall. Actually, he's not as tall as Dia though, right? Wouldn't it be more unbelievable if we still look the same after all this time? Yeah, raises her hand for another high five. No, 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 I don't want it. Yeah, you know them? We know Hayden from elementary school, and Jun's my twin. Oh, Hayden. Jun jolts at the sound of Min's voice, visibly shocked. Min? What are you doing here? Same thing as you, baseball. Do mom and dad know you're doing this? You even need to ask? Jun sighs. He seems really used to this. Now that everyone's here, let's get started. Uh, a low-key Hayden has already stolen my heart from Joan. Sorry, Joan. Bye. <laughs> Since we're the home team, we're defending first. Liz hands him in what looks like a tiny white pouch filled with powder. A cloud of dust puffs out when she grabs it. We have ro 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 Rosin? Rosin? I still don't know which one it is. To help improve your grip. Wow! Real R. 
Then is so excited that she accidentally inhales a bunch of the powder. <coughs> poor, poor, poor me. <laughs> oh, Hayden, my love. You're so pretty. Hayden is a lead-off hitter. Min spits on the ground for dramatic effect. Ew! Man, that's gross. Don't do that again. Oh, Dia is quite tall, actually. She's taller than them. Dia crouches into position. As an afterthought, she points her index finger down at the ground. Min smugly... Smugly. <laughs> it's not smugly. Smugly nods back and straightens up on the mound. Since when do you two have signs? Oh, they don't mean anything. We're just doing it because it looks cool. Min winds, winds, winds up and throws. Ball comes in chest high, perfectly spinless. If someone had written a message on it, you could read it. Then it does what it looks like a double dip and and and, and I guess that's a typo, and drops into Dia's glove. Hayden swings at it, but he he's way off. The scream really unne uh, really necessary. Hayden manages to skim the next pitch, it bounces up an inch above the bat and plops down in front of the plate. He pounces on it and throws him out. No! What was that? A knuckleball? It's like a trick pitch. I don't trust it. Cursed. It's not cursed. It's like that because of physics. Cursed. Oh, he's so lovable. He also yells out to global warming triumphantly. See? I told you I wasn't making it up. Sakura and Yuki exchange a look, then turn to Krissa with skeptical faces. Come on! The next batter swings helplessly at three knucklers and sits down. Jensul is up against his twin now. Min winds, winds, winds up and lets another knuckler go. He hit a line drive straight at Arkarsha. It's coming toward me. I can't reach it with my hand. Kick it. Arkasha kicked the ball. She's now hopping around on one foot in pain. Ow, ow! You fucking dumbass. Why didn't you just catch it? Don't mind. What? Don't mind. They say that in... Sport anime when someone screws up. I'm literally going to throw up. You even said it was a fake- Said it with a fake Japanese accent. Wait, I think it's a good idea though. It helps boost morale. The ball bounces back towards home plate. Dia scoops up the ball and hurls it to first. Out! What the- That actually worked! Yes, I'm a certified genius! My Nobel Prize! You're not getting a Nobel Prize for kicking a ball instead of catching it the right way. Aw, we don't have real dugouts. There's just a little bench for each side. What were you expecting? The school doesn't have an official baseball team, so we're lucky to even have this. I never got why dugouts need to be half underground like that. Like, it's not a freaking bomb shelter. Stop being so dramatic. <laughs> the team takes a seat on the bench except Dia, who's still taking off the catcher's gear. There's not quite enough space for everyone. Left standing, Dia hovers uncertainly beside them. There's not enough room. And you can sit in my lap. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Why the hell would it be the other way around? You're the smaller one? Ow! Then kicked Arkasha really hard under the bench. He and Noel both startled at Arkasha's yelp. Neither of them saw the kick. What's wrong with you? She's glaring at me with a murderous look in her eyes. I, uh, farted. I was trying to cover up the sound. What? Crap, I don't think she buys it. That's inconsistent with your past behavior. Last week you told me the disgusting and unwanted fact that you had three consecutive farts that formed the major try. <laughs> Why go through such lengths to mask a single fart now? You're hiding something. Just scream now, it's a distraction. Shut up! Stop screaming! You're screaming too. The bench creaks a, a, a bit as Dia nervously lowers herself as min in Min's lap. Then immediately wraps an arm around Dia's waist. I have to do, do this so we don't lose our balance. Yeah! Better watch out, Dia. Min's probably thinking about doing bad things to you. I want to do bad things to you, too. To you, Arkarsha. <laughs> really? Like what? Like snap your fucking neck? Oh, me! Then Sue is pitching against global warming. His throws look a lot faster than Min's. And he strikes Esther out with ease. Out! Was it's keeping score with a pencil and paper, she dutifully marks the strikeout with a K. Why isn't a strikeout S or S-O? Why K? K is for killed. That can't be it. It's because S is already used for sacrifice. The K from the last letter of struck. That's the lame reason. Agreed. I like Min's reason better. 
Sakura is up to bat now. She whips the first pitch, but pops the second one up. I got it! He chases the ball into foul territory and dies for it. Out! This situation sucks. If we were even able to get to first base, we could steal or do some weird shit, but nope. Actually, I did some research on that. In most cases, attempting to steal has a much higher chance of having a negative result than a positive one. Since most of us aren't that confident in our own stealing skills, it would be better for us not to try it. What the hell are you saying? Stealing is important. No, it objectively has little value and is often actually detrimental. For steal attempts to be not detrimental, you have to succeed around 70% of the time. That's the point where you break even. The exact number depends on the situation. I'll oh, hit the headset, but it's always around that range. For instance, for a runner on first with no outs, getting caught stealing will lose a team two-thirds of a run on average and a successful steal gains a third of a run. So for every three steals attempts, you need to convert at least two. Or the other thing you stealing you're stealing is run run is runs from your team. Do you succeed that often? If not, you're actually hurting the team's chances. Men looks like she understood none of that. Shut the shut shut your hell up. You lamppost. Shut shut your hell up. Lamppost? You can't reduce things down to numbers. Yes, I can. She uses a stick to scratch a formula into the dirt. To, into the dirt. SBP equals SB. In parentheses, SB plus C as close parentheses. Multiply 100%. And quickly stomps out the formula. The evil is defeated. This equation are just a bunch of word games. They're not real. Look, this isn't even a matter of opinion. I'm right. Numbers don't lie. There are things you can't see. Like what? Your feelings? The power of friendship? Does it not occur to you that perhaps your enemies have those things too? They're on both sides of the equation, so they can cancel each other out. Oh my god, this is baseball, not rocket science. But this isn't rocket science, this is basic algebra. Bro, give it up, Noel hates being wrong. Actually, I wouldn't know, I'm not familiar with the sensation. Liz comes up and taps Arkasha on the shoulder. Hey, you're up to bat now. Akasha lets out a prolonged croaking sound that lasts for 30 seconds. We're down two outs, so I better not screw this up. Akasha picks a bat and heads to the plate. Uh, <laughs> use psychological warfare or intimidate the enemy with an impressive entrance. I want to do that one. Akasha slowly does a tai chi pose while maintaining eye contact with Jinsul. This is the form Grass the Bird's Tail. Akasha lies on her back and tries to jump onto her feet without using her hands. There's not enough momentum, she just falls back down. Wait for it, I got this. She tries it again. This time she manages to land on the balls of her feet, but doesn't have muscle to pull herself up. Defeated, she lands back on her butt. Arkasha, cut it out. Junso doesn't look intimidated at all. He winds up and throws the ball. Arkasha isn't experienced enough to distinguish balls from strikes, so she randomly decides whether or not to swing. Unsurprisingly, she racks up three strikes in an instant. No, my special technique! How about you practice more instead of using your special technique? It's time to switch sides now. The batter hits the ball towards Arkasha again. Arkasha fumbles the ball, allowing the runner to safely reach the bag. Thanks for screwing up! I didn't screw up. That was on purpose. The truth is, I'm a double agent. Just admit you messed up already. The Kelly Wells have one out and a runner on first. The runner takes off as Junsu bunts the ball. It rolls slowly all the way down to the left foul line. Dia follows it closely, hovering over it like a hawk. What's she doing? If Dia can grab it when, sh when it's on the left side of the line, it'll count as foul. You can't run on foul balls, so the runner will have to return to first. The ball is still rolling almost exactly down the line. Akashi runs ahead of the ball and drags her foot into the dirt to make a path curving to the right. Hey! The ball hits a path and ro ro rules foul. Dia quickly grabs it. I'm a triple agent. You can't just change allegiances to match whether or not you messed up. Then throws the next pitch for a strike. Nice work! Time to switch sides again. That was fast. That's good. It means men's knuckleball is working. We should give it a special name. Like, Knuckles. I'm not calling it a damn Sonic character. <laughs> they can be butterfly related since they flutter. Butterfly. Butterfly thingy. Butterfly from Hell's Anus. The anus part wasn't necessary. I love how the game's low-key dropping in like butterflies and even on their like... Oh! Wait. 
Monarch? Are you talking about the Monarch butterfly? Oh my god, I'm so freaking slow. Oh my god. Just when I noticed, like, oh, they're mentioning all these butterflies. And then it's like, Monarch. I thought Monarch was a bird. God, so dumb. Well, you're up to bat. Akasha cat calls Noah as she walks up to the plate. This is where we're gonna stop, though. Because we have reached our limit. I honestly don't know how this game is gonna end. I'm really... I'm gonna be really sad when it does. Because I'm gonna miss all these silly events and such. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you guys in the next one.